In this video, we will cover the seam layout techniques in Measure Square. To begin, we will click on the Estimate tab. To change the layout direction for the overall project, go up to the top left and select either the horizontal or vertical button. Select the products you would like to change the layout direction for and then click the OK button. Pop-up will remind you that your numbers may change. Note that now our product direction has changed from horizontal to vertical for our whole project in regards to our sheet vinyl. To change the layout direction in one room, right click on the room, go to set layout direction, click the directional arrow of the new layout direction you would like and click OK. Note that the seams in the waiting area are now laid out horizontally. To align the seams of a product with an edge of a wall, click on the set direction by edge button and then hover over the angled wall which you would like the seams to replicate. Left click and the seams will align to the chosen angle. To move a seam around a room, left click and hold while dragging the seam to your desired new location. To remove a seam, simply left click, hold down the left mouse button, and drag the seam outside the room. The same rules about moving seams and deleting seams apply to our T-seams as well. To switch the seam side in a room, simply select the room, and then go up and select the Switch Seam Side button. This will cause the layout direction in the room to be mirrored. To add an additional T-seam to a room, go up to the Seam Toolbar, click on the Add T-seam button until it's highlighted orange, and then left-click to place the T-seam in the desired location. To break a region into evenly spaced fill pieces, go up and click the Add Even T-Seam button and then left click to apply the number of seams once they've been selected in the pop-up. To reset the seams in a room to the original layout, left click to select the room and then go up to the Seam Tool menu and click on Reset Seams. Once a room has been optimized for wastage, left click on the room and then go up to the Seam Tool menu and click on the Lock Seam button to lock the seams in place. This will allow you to continue estimating for the same product without affecting the layout of any room that has been completed. Also note that the seam color has changed to indicate that the seams are locked. To add a dividing crossing line, such as in this hallway, click on the Add Dividing Cross Line button and left click to place. Once our seam layout has been achieved, we can then move on to optimizing our cuts on our rolls. To move a cut along a roll, left click and hold down the red line to drag the cut to a new location. If you left click on a piece, the corresponding area in our seam diagram will be highlighted turquoise to indicate the position of the cut. To move a block of cuts around, simply left click on the red line to grab a block of cuts and move it around on the roll. To add a new roll of carpet, left click to grab a piece at the end of the roll and drag it to the blank area and a new roll will be created. To move a cut to the front of a roll, right click on the piece and then click on the Move to Front of Roll button. To move a cut to the end of a roll, right click on the piece and then click on the Move to End of Roll button. To zoom to a room that contains a certain cut, right click on the cut and choose the Zoom to Room button. As a best practice, right click on any piece of the product and choose Consolidate Waste Last to achieve an optimal waste reduction. 